Hey y'all, today's gonna be another What's Old video and it starts right now. Alright guys, welcome. If you're new to the channel, my name is Julian, also known as the Beard Thrift Machine here on YouTube, and I buy stuff and flip it online and make YouTube videos about it. That basically means I buy something low and sell it for market value on places like eBay and Facebook Marketplace. Today we're gonna do 20 what's sold for me in the last couple of days. I'll try to tell you exactly how much I spent on the item and roughly the, the amount of time it took for them to sell. Also, if you are new to the channel, welcome. If you want to, go back and watch some of my other videos. If you do like the content, always remember to subscribe, comment down below, like the video. So let's go ahead and get started with the first item. This first item right here is going to be a Vintage Craftsman V. This is a 9 16 by 5 8 open-ended wrench and went for $14 free shipping. I pick these wrenches up usually between a quarter to 50 cents at yard sales. They're always a good sell. They do take a while, maybe six to nine months. But to be honest with you, you take two pictures of them and then a picture of the series number. The V uh, is an older series stamp, which means that it is vintage. And these do sell pretty good. And they usually always sell for about 14 bucks. So, you know, 50 cents in a 14. And they do go in a uh, first class when they're this size. So not really that bad to ship. This one right here is going to be a vintage Cabela's tan orange cotton padded shoulder shooting hunting shirt. Made sure you used a lot of good keywords here. I think that's the reason why it sold so fast. And this one went for $19.40 and the buyer did pay shipping. This was able to fit in a padded flat rate. And I picked up for $4 at the Goodwill and it only took a couple months to sell. These vintage Lyman side cutter pliers. These were eight and a half inches long and they did go for $7 and the buyer did pay shipping on this. And I pick up again, these can go for a quarter to 50 cents at a yard sale when you buy, you know, like big toolboxes. All this stuff is worth money on the inside if they are name brand. Lineman side cutters usually do pretty well and they go between seven to 15 bucks. This is a Harley Davidson roll up travel bag, motorcycle storage with leather straps, eight pouch, went for $39.99 and the buyer did pay shipping. This was in super good condition, picked it up for $5 at a yard sale about two weeks ago. This Adidas David Beckham, AC Milan soccer jersey. This thing actually sold like three times, I think, on auction. And each time nobody paid for it. And each time it was from somewhere overseas. And finally, this did sell and the person did pay. And they actually were in Italy. And this is going overseas again. So for $35 plus shipping. And I picked it up for a dollar at a yard sale. This is a terrible picture. I Like when I was taking the screenshot of this, I'm surprised this even sold. I should have done a little bit better job to show what this belt buckle looked like. This is a JCB belt buckle. It has a backo like front loader on it and it's a three and a half inch long brass. It was brand new in the package so I didn't want to open the package. Could have done a little bit better with my picture work here but it did go for $10 plus shipping. Probably have a quarter into that and uh, that took probably about nine months to a year to sell. I used to pick up a ton of Tory Richard shirts. I actually don't find them anymore. Well, I don't really look at clothing but um they did usually sell pretty good for me, but they only sold for 10 to 15 bucks usually. And this one sold for $10 plus shipping. This is a Hawaiian silk shirt, and I probably picked it up for $4 at a Goodwill probably six to nine months ago. All right, now we're getting into this stuff from the attic. This is going to be a whole bunch of Mack truck pamphlet brochures. They were actually spec sheets to 1970s Mack trucks, and this person bought a whole bunch of them. I sold them between $10 to $20 a piece for one spec sheet. And that did go for $80.97 and he did buy, uh, pay shipping on that. And that also went international. This is going to be a Cleveland Smart Soul 3.0 Sandwich right-handed club. Picked this up probably three months ago and I paid a lot of money for it when I picked it up. It was $10 at a yard sale, which I don't pay $10 a lot on a, at a yard sale for one club. But I was already in the good on that yard sale, so this is going to be pure profit. And this went for $69.99 and the buyer did pay shipping. Cleveland is a good brand to look out for. This was also featured in my What Didn't Sell video. And this one sold about a week later. This was a Polaroid 1 600 film, 100 millimeter focus range instant camera. It was untested. The person said, you know, it has the lens look. Does it pop up correctly? I said, yeah, I just haven't tested and I really don't know how to test them. And they said, okay, no problem. We'll give you 10 bucks plus shipping. That was also an international sale through the global shipping program on eBay. Right here are going to be some golf towels. I actually bought a huge golf towel lot. I got some master stuff out of it. I got some other like name brand stuff and the rest I put in a big lot. 
and I put them up on auction. I think I started the auction at $9.99, which would have been pure profit anyway. And uh, I do 10 day auctions. It's all within 10 days. It got three bits plus shipping and it was 12 golf towels. And they were kind of like destination golf towels. Some weren't really even destination. One was like a concrete company and some were from Hawaii. So definitely pretty cool there, but that's all profit, easy to ship. Not too bad with $12.50. This is a Masters 2002 three day pass golf badge. This went for $42 and the buyer did pay. Shipping had four bids. This was actually attached to one of the towels that I picked up in the lot. So right there, this one's gonna be pure profit. Again, 10 days to sell on that. Really surprised, I had no idea how much that thing was worth. So I put it up on auction and let the uh, market tell me it was worth 42 bucks. This is a vintage Mack truck chrome cigar ashtray hood ornament. And it's funny because when I'm talking about this, when I found it, I was like, I bet you I'd get $65 for this because this was in brand new condition. There was no real tarnish on it. I did not clean this thing. I just wiped it down. That's how nice it was. And I basically picked it up for like five bucks. And I, if you just watched my other video that I dropped about two days ago, I will link it down in the description talking about this, the auction, the attic buy. That was part of it. I actually only spent $250 on this. And so for $65 in the buyer did pay shipping, really good flip there. This one right here is going to be a Browning fly rod, nine foot. I actually purchased this to go uh, fly fishing with, and I really never went fly fishing. I used my old, old spinning stuff. And uh, so I sold it. I sold it for 60 bucks plus shipping, spent $5 for it. It was up on auction. Nobody bought it. I did a buy it now at $60 and it sold within a couple of minutes. This one right here is going to be a Cleveland Zip Groove Chipper Wedge, right-handed with a wedge flex. This went for $49 and the buyer did pay shipping. I picked this up at a Goodwill two days ago, and I'll tell you this, my Goodwill's golf club stuff is just really not in there. I was surprised to pick this thing up. I was happy to see it. I knew it was worth some money, and it did sell again for $49 in two days, and I picked my golf clubs up at the Goodwill for usually $3. This is a Mack Truck Max Language brochure sheet. Again, got this out of the attic and it only took mm, probably only about a couple days to sell. Went for $20 plus shipping and that is a couple pages that just talks about Matt Trucks back in like the 70s. This also sold with that also. Some more spec sheets and then a Mack Truck H model air leaf suspension system brochure spec sheet. And when I'm saying spec, that means like the specifics of what the truck did and you know, whatever the length and height and the horsepower or whatever was on those. And those two sold for $40 plus shipping. And what you want to do there is I'm just showing that all this stuff is selling because when you're like buying big auction lots or you're at the estate sales and you might see a book where a guy used to work for Mack trucks back in the day, he's got a binder full of spec sheets and you're like, ah, that's probably worth like a couple bucks. Each page is worth like 15 to $20. It's actually pretty mind blowing how that worked out, but I'm glad it did. But just know this stuff is definitely worth some money. This one right here is going to be a Tour Edge Exotics driver right-handed club with a nice looking head cover. Went for $185 plus shipping. I actually picked that up for $50. Bucks. I made about $100 on that. This tailor-made Tour Burner set, three through pitching wedge, had stiff flex, right-handed clubs. Did go for $299. The buyer did pay shipping. They only took about five minutes to sell. I bought an entire like uh, golf bag full of these some chippers some putters a driver and some three woods and uh i bought the whole thing for 150 and these sold for 300 dollars. so right there basically doubled my money and the rest will be profit on that this has got to be the, one of the most surprising things that i've sold yet i was actually going to throw these away and kayla was like no you might want to go ahead and look those up because they might be worth the money i found these in the attic uh, from the attic lot that I picked up. And this was a vintage Mack truck fire truck slides. There were 675 of them from the 1970s. And uh, basically what I did was is that I had three different lots, right? I'll go ahead and flip to the next one here. And this one right here is my first lot that I put, put up. So it was a lot of 50 of them. And what I did was I actually took pictures through like through the slide into a, a light so they could see what was on them. And most of these were actually of like old fires and of old Mack truck fire trucks. And so this one right here, a guy messaged me on eBay and said, hey, I'll give you $75 for you know your 50 slides. And I was like, absolutely, because I was gonna throw them away and I didn't know what they were worth. So I said, yes. And then uh, what he did was he messaged me again on these other ones. He said, whoa, I see you have a whole bunch more, about 670 more slides and i said yeah i do they were cut up into two different lots i was asking 150 dollars a piece 
but on auction. He said, if you do a buy it now, I'll give you $375, you know, for those slides. So, you know, $375 plus the other $75, I'm up to like $450 bucks for these slides that I actually thought were worthless. He was $508 all in on these things. I packed them up, shipped them out, got a good review on it. So that was pretty good. But basically he told me the only reason he bought them is because how I took my pictures of looking through the slide into the light so they could see what the picture was. I actually looked on his eBay and he sells individual individual slides. So what he's going to do most likely is probably go through all these, save some. It seems like he was a fire truck enthusiast, but also sell some. And they usually sell between four to eight dollars a piece. Uh, I don't know what would have sold to be honest with you. There were so many to go through. There were so many like factory pictures and fire truck pictures. So I'm just glad they went to somebody that's going to use these things because I was literally going to throw them away. So don't throw anything away. Make sure you comp everything out even if it's like, eh, I doubt it. But uh, I actually when I looked on eBay, there were a lot more collection of slides that go for a ton of money. So that might be something that you've thrown away before or haven't picked up and you probably get them for pretty cheap, that might be actually be pretty good. So right there, that's 20 what sold for me in the last couple of days. I do these videos so you can go out there, find some of these items, flip them for yourself, and make some money. I do appreciate everybody that watches, and you know I will always catch you on the next one.